Washington Patriots football team, Terry Ray. Coach Ray, uh, we didn't get a chance to talk to you last week. Um, so can you recap your last game for us and I guess give us some of your takeaways uh, that you had last week? How are you doing today, Coach, as well? Hey, you guys forgot about the EPAC cheering competition at Musselman tonight. Ah, uh, yes, we did forget about that as well. <laughs> no, last uh, two weeks ago, yeah, we played against Martinsburg. Uh, hey, we played against Martinsburg. Uh, uh, Merce, really good quarterback. They have a really good football team. Uh, defensively, uh, I thought we did pretty well other than, I mean, we did give up 68 points, but we're here and there with missed tackles, and we worked on that the entire bye week, tackling and going over mistakes we made in that game. Uh, offensively, we struggled a little bit. Our offensive line had some miscues. Our quarterback struggled, but uh, we tried to fix everything in the bye week last week. It's a go. And, Coach, uh, you mentioned that you guys had to buy this past week. Um, what were some things that you feel like you were able to work on during the buy? We worked on getting healthy, for one. We had some guys who were banged up. Uh, we, they got to rest a little bit. But we worked on fundamental stuff where we were making major mistakes all year. Tackling was one of our big things. Offensively, communication with our offensive line and our quarterbacks. Uh, we, we practiced four out of the uh, five days last week. We gave them Friday and Saturday off. Uh, Monday was a real light day. We watched film. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we packed our lunch, and we went to work fixing stuff and preparing ourselves for Hampshire. With that being said, what have you seen so far from Hampshire as you guys get ready to take uh, them on Friday? Uh, Hampshire's a pretty good football team. Uh, they, they played a, 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 a competitive schedule. Uh, offensively, they've done a little bit of everything this year, what, what we've seen. Uh, defensively, they've ran a 3-4 and they've ran an even front 4-2. Uh, they're they're a tough football team. Uh, I've coached against them the last three years when I was at Berkeley Springs. Uh, they're always going to bring their A game to you. Coach, we were able to see their game against uh, Berkeley Springs on Friday, um, and you mentioned it. You know, this is a team that it seemed like they were throwing the ball a lot toward the beginning of the year, and then they came out with some wishbone uh, this past week and still threw the ball pretty well against Berkeley Springs as well. So uh, how difficult is that to prepare for when you know a team can run so many different offenses and throw a lot of different things at you? Uh it, it could give you a headache. I tell the kids all the time, we're 4-2 multiple, and I teach by formation. So they can come out in any formation. We're setting our defense up to the formation, and then we'll play the playoff or run keys and pass keys. What does your team need to execute then to get the win against Hampshire? We definitely got to limit turnovers. Our offense has been struggling the last couple of weeks. We got to figure out and get a spark and get ourselves moving. Uh, defensively, we just need to clean up mistakes and tackle better. Coach, where, how would you evaluate uh, the team so far heading in as you just had your bye week and, and knowing that there's only a few games left in the season, just your progress from now, and especially uh, with your young quarterback as well? Our quarterbacks are they're getting better. They're learning. Uh, they're learning more and more on how to read coverage. Our RO line, because we had a couple guys banged up here and there through the year, we've had some communication breakdowns, but they're learning the system. Uh, running back-wise, I thought we've done well. Wide receiver-wise, we've done really well. It's just cleaning up little stuff. Uh, our biggest thing with evaluation-wise at this point is we think still there was about two or three games that we should have won this year that we just made so many mistakes. We dug ourselves a hole that we just couldn't dig out of. Uh, uh, and we're looking forward to the last three weeks of the season and see what we can do because, I mean, we have Hampshire this week. we got two EPAC games in Musselman and our rival with Jefferson. All right, Coach, before we let you go, last week, since we missed you, we started doing some fun questions to get to know coaches more than just on a coach level. So last week our question was, what are your favorite meal to have? So what's your favorite meal, Coach, and why? I, I am a Panay in uh, – meatball kind of guy. I'm Italian. I like a lot of Italian food. Well, that's good with us because we're both Italian as well, Coach. So, <laughs> uh, But then our question this week was, what kind of music do you like to listen to? I listen to about all genres, but I mean, I always go back to 90s grunge. All right, Coach Ray, appreciate the time and good luck against Hampshire this week. Appreciate it, guys.